Here we are in the program called Stellarium, which I will introduce a little bit more completely later on. But suffice to say, this is a planetarium program that shows you what the sky is doing. Here's the sky just after sunset in early August, when I'm making this recording. Let's speed time up a little bit, a little bit here, so that, not quite that much, so that time goes by, you will notice that I have in the background a grid which is called right ascension. It is the measurement around the celestial sphere. This grid moves with the celestial sphere. You'll notice that the time marked 18 hours just past this line called the meridian. Now the meridian is kind of the start finish line of the sky. It goes from the south up through the zenith directly overhead and into the north. So you can see that this is how sidereal time works. Sidereal time keeps track of where the stars are. And of course, right now the simulation is running about a little bit more than 60 times actual speed. Um, you can see that 19 hours has just passed. So a sidereal clock would, at that point, read 19 hours. Now a fairly famous star is coming up about to cross the meridian, and that is the bright star called Altair in the constellation of Aquila the Eagle. And I'm going to pause the simulation right here when Altair gets to be on the meridian, right about there. In old times, this crossing of the meridian used to be called Southing which is an interesting word that's not used anymore, but southing says what the star does. It crosses that line which is directly in the south. Now just out of curiosity, let's check the coordinates of that star called Altair. All the information comes up here on the left and you can see that the right ascension of Altair is 19 hours, 50 minutes, and 47 seconds. But notice where it is on the coordinates of right ascension. Right now it is at about 19 hours 50 minutes. That's the sidereal time. The sidereal time is 19 hours 50 minutes when Altair crosses the meridian. That's how sidereal time works.